Hi guys, my name is Brandon. Today I wanted to take you on my adventure of painting this 3D printed turtle named Gotron. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I do apologize. Like you'll find out, I'm just an amateur at what I'm doing here. So, like I said, I'm an amateur. I don't know too much about painting or my understanding of color mixing, but I have a friend at work who loves turtles and she recently got a picture of a turtle with a castle in its back just like this one. So I thought it would be a neat idea to 3D print one and then paint it for her. In my last video, this project was printed using a Snapmaker 2.0. Here I'm trying to paint it so that we can give it to her as a gift. Alright, so here you can see that I've started using yellow for the base coat of this castle. Since there was so much details on this print, I didn't want to start painting by hand which may have covered some of the details. Now you guys are going to be able to tell I'm just an amateur at painting. I have no clue about base, washes, highlights, or dry brushing at this point. So feel free to give me comments about how I can do better. Alright, so fair notice. When I was starting to do this paint, I didn't realize what kind of paints to buy. I bought the spray paints and then I bought washes. I didn't know that there was actual base paints to add to this. So a lot of the colors that you're gonna see here today might be from that set or I might have had to add it from a Citadel paints that I saw. Okay, so here we're almost done with the yellow covering most of the castle. Okay, so here we're gonna start with a very, very green, almost like evergreen base paint for these trees. Now some folks that are watching might notice there's an entire tree missing. It actually broke off because, well, I'm a goober and I broke it off, but we'll be super gluing that back on later on. So back to the green, I try to get as evergreen as possible, something that I would see on Christmas trees or something, and then I'm going to come back with a very dark green wash. Um, this takes it from a mythical color for me into a kind of more uh, antique green. So it looks like I'm done with the green there. I'm busting out the dark green wash right now. And so I have never done washes before. Um, I've painted before, I've done very little painting, miniatures, but I've never used washes and I gotta say, this made painting the green trees and giving it some texture so easy. Um, any experts out there that might be judging by how I'm painting here, feel free to let me know if I'm doing it right, but it felt so easy. It painted in and the water collected where it needed to be and left the high spots to be bright. Whenever you see the end of this project, you'll see that the trees actually uh, turned out really well and I'm actually very satisfied with that. Well, most of these paints are going to be from the Army Painter. Here it looks like I'm moving on to the roof. Yeah, we're moving into the light blue roof towers. Um, so anyone who thinks I'm out of my mind for these colors, I just want to say for my sake that the color scheme was based off my friend's painting. Um, she, I think her husband had gotten her a picture from a restaurant they love going to and it happened to be a turtle with a castle in its back. That's this idea. Um, blue tower roofs, sure, I'll go with it. It adds color to this. I'm down with it. I probably would have done red or something, but we're going to be going on. So it looks like here I'm going into the leathery skin of this Goldtrot turtle. So I don't know any lore about Goldtrot. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and I do apologize if I'm not. But I went with this really, really tan leather brown. Um, in my head, Goldtrot has probably been alive for a very long time to actually have a castle built on it uh, to be this huge. So I wanted to present the skin with something as a scaly leathery skin um, and because of the color choice here I didn't really do too much of a contrast or a base color I think this is all just from the brown wash 
Um, this way it makes it look like it's almost like a scale. It's probably around this point here that I'm realizing to myself like there's a lot to paint for scales here in the skin. I probably should have painted using like a spray paint or something, a spray gun. As, uh, there were points here where I was about to break just thinking about oh my god I still have to paint that. Yeah, the neck, the legs, the tail um, probably would have been done with the first base coat as well but no use crying over spilled milk, we're past that. Okay, right here I'm just putting on a flashlight on my head, a headlamp really. I can't get the lights on my desk to go where I need to see, plus I'm older so I like to see the the details um, and also I'm a huge goober at recording so a lot of times you'll see the back of my hand more than the project I apologize for that right now so while you're watching this very long process of painting the skin I just wanted to say if anyone is looking for this pattern for 3d printing it's over on my initial video where I had this thing printed on my snapmaker 2.0 it took just about a hundred hours. I did modifications to the file, such as making it bigger because I wanted to stand out as a table ornament for my friend. A um, hundred hours of 3D printing, yeah. Look at that, we're still painting skin. Should have just gone with the paint. Okay, it looks like we're finally done painting the skin and the legs. Now I'm doing some dry brushing on the castle parts. Uh, this was the, the idea was to give it some texture and depth, but it looks like all I did was give it a more of a rusty look. I am gonna come back and dry brush it later on, but uh, this did well to make it look like an older castle. And then right after this, I'm gonna be painting the branches brown. Uh, I actually had to go through a couple layers of brown because some branches I wanted lighter, some I really wanted really darker. Um, and of course, like again I said, I'm a goober. I didn't show which colors I'm using. Alright, we're still painting trunks brown, adding some texture there. Uh, if you're a pro in face palming at how I'm painting here, please feel free to let me know how I can use the paintbrush better. Uh, like, like I said, I'm a amateur. This is all just for a friend's gift. Um, trying to just step into your world of painting and bringing something to life with color.
Alright, so here we're painting the shell of the turtle green. I want it to be almost like an algae brown green, almost like a hill. Um, just to think that it would look really nice being the castle is on a hill, which happens to be a sh the shell of a turtle. Um, now, I have no knowledge about Goldtrot's lore, so no offense to the hardcore players out there. But I think the color combination actually worked out pretty well for me in the end. Okay, so if you guys look really, really closely here at this turtle, I know my hand's covering a lot of it, but you guys can actually see a lot of roots in the details. Um, later on, you'll see that there's actually kind of like horns growing out of his legs. There's mushrooms plastered all over his body. Um, there's just so many details with this project alone. There's windows, there's doors, there's traps. But I wanted to just say thank you very much to everybody who is watching. Um, I don't expect anybody to watch my videos. I actually make this more for my son. But if anybody out there is watching this, sees I can do a little bit better with painting or what you think. And just let me know in the comments. Uh, this project was incredibly fun. It took forever to do, but I'm glad that it's finally done. I was able to share with you guys how it was all done. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And um, at the end, there's some photographs. I'm not very good at video, but you can see in there. Let me know what what you would have done if I could have chosen a better color scheme. Anything I can do better. I hope you guys enjoy.
So here we are at the end with the side-by-side uh, -side comparison. It almost looks like one side is put on a monochromatic filter. Here's what they look like side-by-side. -side. And um, here are the photographs. Like I said, it was very, very challenging to do all this. I love how the details all came out. You guys could let me know what you guys think about it, what other projects I should do. Y'all enjoy. <laughs>